Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of Roundhouse Radio. Make sure you hit that like button. It's totally free and it really helps the channel. Today we got an interesting episode because Conor McGregor recently, obviously last night, really destroyed his ankle. And I think that I have a decent insight into this as someone who's experienced a very similar, if not the same injury. And it's it happened in a way that could have potentially happened to Connor earlier in this fight. So I'm going to go into detail as to what I saw happen. I'm not a medical professional, but like I said, I've experienced this injury. I've broken my ankle a couple times. I fractured my foot fighting. So I, I think I have a different lens to look at this than other people might. Now, if we look really closely at the actual injury itself, we see that the break seems to happen, or at least part of the break seems to happen before he actually rolls his ankle. And it's almost as if the rolling of the ankle is a symptom of him breaking it just half a second before. When he's trying to throw that punch, he's a bit off balance, and his ankle sort of twists in a way that would suggest that that's when it's breaking. So you can see it's not moving the way an ankle should. It seems to break. It seems to have a little bit of a fracture. When he goes to put that weight back on the ankle, we see it break. Okay, now, guys, what could have happened, and this is all, you know, speculation because no one will ever really know when the break happened you know we can never know that but i can tell you what's happened to me and something that did happen in this fight so dustin poirier claimed that he felt something on a check now if we watch the fight i don't really see any good clean checks from dustin poirier but there is one instance that i did see that instance is conor mcgregor lands an incredibly hard leg kick on dustin poirier but it seems to hit the knee okay and it seems to hit around the knee area but more specifically he doesn't land with the shin he lands with his foot conor mcgregor hits incredibly hard he's a hard kicker so for him to hit with his foot like that could have very easily hyperextended and fractured either his foot or hyperextended and weakened the ligaments supporting the foot. That's what happened to me. I was landing consistent leg kicks throughout the tournament. I landed a leg kick that hit with my foot, hitting the back or the side of the person's knee, and it completely blew out my ability to stand on that foot. And what's interesting is a lot of people might think that Connor would have felt this throughout the course of the fight. However, if we look at it, he very well could have not because, like myself, I didn't actually feel the pain of the injury until I put weight on the foot in a way that was a bit different than normal. It actually took about 30 to 45 seconds for me to even realize that I'd been hurt. I actually threw the kick again and... and that's when I really realized that I was that I was injured. So if we look at the way the fight went, it was very quick when Connor landed a leg kick. He was landing his big kicks. And then Dustin Poirier came back. Connor clinched. And then the fight went to the ground. So there's a very clear potential possibility that Connor could have either fractured the foot earlier or torn some ligaments that weakened the actual foot's ability to protect the bone, right? Because the bone works in tandem with the ligaments, especially in a joint like that. So this could have potentially caused the fracture or break, which happened before he actually rolled his ankle. Because again, if we look closely, we can see that the actual break, the actual fracture is happening while he's throwing the punch before he tries to step back and put that weight on. That's a very interesting thing, right? And it does really beg the question, when did this break happen? I'm of the personal belief that the break happened at that moment. The break happened when he's throwing the punch and then it really got accentuated when he was stepping back and falling onto that foot which broke it even more however that being said i think that there's very good reason to believe when you look at the power and the strength that connor was throwing these kicks with and then you look at that one kick where it's landing on the top of the foot very hard against that incredibly hard part of the dustin poirier's leg being his knee that could have very easily hyperextended that could have very easily weakened if not torn some ligaments and connor very well could have not noticed that in the moment especially when you think of the adrenaline of the fighters you think of the pace of the fight and you think of where the fight went very quickly after those kicks were being landed which was to the ground it would even help explain why Conor McGregor seemed to be totally available for the counter shots that Dustin Poirier was landing when he landed that combination because he was so immobile, which is very unlike Conor. He might have been feeling something was off without being able to really address the issue. And then when he stood up, goes to throw that punch, we can see very clearly super slow motion here. We'll see it, guys. See how the, the foot bends awkwardly. It It, it isn't... He isn't planted the way he should be. It almost looks like the break happens there. He then goes to step back on it. And you can see he starts to wince in pain almost before the ankle even rolls over, right? So it looks like he's in pain before the ankle's even rolling over. 
The ankle proceeds to roll over, and that's where the break really happens. That's where the rest of the break happens. It, it doesn't make sense to me that Conor McGregor would simply just break his ankle like that on a roll. I think that it was a compounded effect from the results of landing heavy kicks, potentially damaging it earlier, then damaging it even more while he throws the punch, and then the break fully happens when it rolls back onto the thing, right? So this was a compounded effect over the course of the fight. Guys, if we're looking at the way the actual fight went, you know, realistically, I think that Dustin Poirier was going to win that fight. The damage that Connor was doing, it didn't seem sustainable because he was really pushing a pace that I, I, I don't think he could have sustained, especially not over five rounds. Connor McGregor is not famous for coming back later in the fight. However, he did. He, he is still very powerful and very dangerous in the second round. So I think it was a bit early to call it. I know a lot of people are calling it all already saying the fight was sort of over saying you know there wasn't much left for Conor at that moment but realistically he could have come back he could have done it it is Conor McGregor he did it against Chad Mendes who's a much different opponent than Dustin Poirier especially Dustin Poirier now but realistically I think that Dustin Poirier would have been the massive favorite going into it I didn't see a path to victory for Conor McGregor I did see Dustin Poirier dominating the rest of that fight however that being said man Conor McGregor is a durable fighter he, he's a great he's a great competitor He's one of the hardest hitters in the division, so it, that still very well could have been a win for him. It's a bummer, right? And injuries like this happen. This is part of the sport, but at the end of the day, Dustin Poirier won that fight. You really can't take it away from him, right? We can't suggest that the damage that Dustin Poirier did, you know, smashing Connor, uh, doing a ton of damage, potentially throwing off his equilibrium, throwing off his balance, which could have caused that injury. We can't really take that win away from him. Dustin Poirier was definitely the causation of the injury. Like I said, I think it was a compounded a compounded injury throughout the course of the fight. I think that Dustin Poirier definitely influenced that. And that's all we can really look at when we when we talk about injuries in fights like this, right? So even though it is an injury, even though it's a bit of a bummer, this is still a victory for Dustin Poirier. I think that he should, you know, hold himself high. Next fight for him is the world title, but it is a bit of a bummer, but it's just the way it goes sometimes in this sport. Guys, I hope that I might have been able to share a bit of light here. I think that this was this one was interesting for me because it was a lot of pain that I went through and I sort of thought for a second, hey man, maybe I have some good insight here. I know this was a bit different than what we usually do when we usually talk about breaking down the fights and stuff like that, but like I said, this was a specific instance where I think that I have some good insight. I can't stress enough just how bad you can hurt yourself throwing hard leg kicks landing in the wrong spot, landing in the wrong part of your own foot instead of with your shin, right? Landing on a hard part of, the, of your opponent's legs. That can do a lot of damage and you cannot really even know that damage is there. That sort of can weaken the spot and then something that normally wouldn't break your ankle does break your ankle, right? So I hope this helped, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Guys, make sure uh, if, if you want to support the show, you can go to the Amazon links affiliates that are in the bio right now. Also, make sure to comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the fight. Let me know if you guys think that Conor McGregor can come back from an injury like this. Let me know if you think it might be over for him. Let me know what you guys think is next for Dustin Poirier. And let me know what you guys want to see next from the show, guys. I really appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys watching. This has been Roundhouse Radio. Thanks so much, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one.